There is something about Spirit Airlines that doesn't add up. Passengers routinely blast the airline. Consumer Reports gave it one of the lowest overall scores for any company it's ever rated. But it has one of the highest profit margins of any airline in the country. Spirit takes no frills to new heights with some of the lowest base fares. But passengers complain it's late, it's cramped, and they are charged for things most airlines include in the ticket price. We found Lynn Roth Jacobs on her second flight, largely because she had already bought three non-refundable tickets. So would you do this again? Not next year. I booked all three flights before Not I next year? No, How about the not year next after? Year. No, not, not the year after. So if so many people dislike Spirit Airlines, why is it so hard to get a ticket? Ben Baldanza is the CEO. What people say and what people do are different things. And people like to save money. And some of those people complain about, the, about what it takes to save that kind of money. Flying Spirit does take a little getting used to. The seats are a lot closer together than any other airline you might be used to. And you know the old saying, you get what you pay for? Well, on Spirit, you pay for everything. Everything. Spirit was the first to charge for all checked bags, but now it also charges for overhead space. $35 if you pay in advance, and you'd better pay in advance because if you wait, it'll really cost you. If you do it at the airport, it's $50. And if you wait to go to the gate, it's $100. And Spirit makes more money on some of the overheads with advertising. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Passengers on most domestic flights know there's no free lunch anymore. But on Spirit, there's not even any free water. It costs $3. Angie Patterson has adapted. They used to give you that, now you pay. You blame them? No, not at all. They're trying to, they're trying to cover their costs. Credit, ma'am. Baldanza insists the extra charges are not mandatory, and he bristles if you call the charges fees. Now, you don't like the F word, fee. <laughs> what do you prefer? Well, we think of it as options that customers choose. Although there is one thing passengers still get for free. So we've rejected, for example, charging for bathrooms. We're never going to do that. That's not, that's not an optional never. thing. Raise no. your right hand. As a CEO, we will not charge to use the bathroom. It's pretty much his only concession. Comfort is hard to provide with cut rate fares in this cutthroat business. Baldanza has to sell more seats. So Spirit Planes have about 30 more seats in the same amount of space. Honest, are you comfortable in this seat? Absolutely. I mean, look at I've got room. I mean, I, admittedly, I'm short. Baldanza wants passengers to know what they're buying, so he has proclaimed this. Hi, how are you? The year of the customer. And so the year of the customer is about aligning the customer expectation to the reality of what they're going to get, and that reality is a compromise in some cases of seat comfort and other things, but it's an enormous win in terms of lower price which is what drives most people. So are you lowering expectations? No, we're, we're aligning expectations. Thank you for choosing to fly with us today. The reality is while people may grumble about the extra fees, sorry about the word, Mr. Baldanza, or the sardine style seating, they are buying almost every available ticket on a growing number of flights. And that's what makes Baldanza's spirit soar.